Nowadays, transport aircraft look more formidable than fighter jets. Recently, the U.S. Air Force signed an agreement with Jet Zero to build a blended wing body aircraft by 2027. The appearance of the aircraft is extremely futuristic, with an elliptical fuselage and slender wings, reminiscent of the B-2 bomber. It looks like something that came from the planet Cybertron. Interestingly, this is just a transport plane with the added feature of stealth. So, what is the purpose of a stealth transport plane for the United States? Why does a stealth transport plane seem more formidable than a fighter jet? In terms of aerodynamics, the pure flying wing configuration has a high lift-to-drag ratio in a cruising state, but its longitudinal stability is poor. To address this, compromises were made by retaining the fuselage, resulting in the blended wing body design. For the U.S. Air Force, the blended wing body design is a rare opportunity. It transforms the traditional tubular fuselage into a more aerodynamically efficient triangular shape, increasing the payload capacity. It eliminates the right angles at the wing body junction, reducing radar cross-section. Importantly, it also saves money. The efficiency of the blended wing body is about 50% higher than that of traditional aircraft, and it can double the range. This can significantly reduce one of the major annual expenses for the Air Force, as they consume billions of dollars worth of fuel, approximately 2 billion gallons, for their aircraft and bases. That's why the U.S. Air Force partnered with Jet Zero to produce a blended wing aircraft, codenamed XBW-1. From the prototype images, the XBW-1 looks nothing like a traditional transport plane but more like the B-2 bomber. The fuselage and wings smoothly transition, with a flattened tubular structure forming the basic framework. The wings are significantly thickened at the wing root, seamlessly integrating into the body and significantly reducing radar cross-section. The XBW-1 has smaller tail surfaces, and the engines are positioned at the rear of the aircraft instead of under the wings. It features a large sweep angle and incorporates noticeable stealth design elements. The aircraft is coated with stealth paint, making it nearly perfect. That's why a stealth transport plane appears more formidable than a stealth fighter jet. In terms of aesthetics, the flying wing has no rivals. Furthermore, for aircraft with the same takeoff weight, the blended wing body design reduces the wingspan and wing area, providing more internal space. According to the U.S. Air Force's plans, a version of the XBW-1 will replace the C-5 and C-17 transport planes or even the KC-46 aerial refueling aircraft. Now, let's discuss the advantages of the blended wing body design and whether the U.S. can successfully build it. First, let's talk about the challenges of the blended wing body design. After all, even if the performance is excellent, it would be in vain if it could not be built. The drawbacks of the BWB design can be seen from the sci-fi appearance alone. The aerodynamic layout is quite complex, and due to its different structure compared to conventional designs, it places high demands on the flight control system. Flight control is an inherent challenge for blended wing aircraft. Traditional aircraft structures have various control surfaces such as elevators, rudders, and ailerons to control pitch, yaw, and roll movements. However, a blended wing aircraft lacks these control surfaces. It sacrifices vertical stability by eliminating the vertical stabilizer and rudder, which naturally leads to reduced lateral stability. Stability control in a blended wing aircraft relies solely on the trailing edge flaperons. In simple terms, what used to require two or three steps to accomplish has been condensed into one step. Both lateral and longitudinal control depend on the action of the trailing edge flaperons. However, this coupling of lateral and longitudinal movements differs from conventional aircraft layouts, where lateral and longitudinal control are separate. Additionally, blended wing aircraft have numerous control surfaces. For example, the B-2 bomber has 20 control surfaces. As a result, interference between the control surfaces can occur, leading to efficiency issues with control inputs. 
There are also challenges in coordinating and distributing control surface deflections. Developing a flight control system for blended wing aircraft is highly difficult, and during takeoff and landing, the BWB aircraft cannot increase its lift coefficient through devices like flaps, as traditional layout aircraft do. Therefore, during takeoff and landing, the aircraft needs to maintain a higher speed and has a unique aerodynamic configuration. While this configuration provides a higher lift-to-drag ratio, it also increases pressure throughout the aircraft, resulting in the need to pay attention to aircraft buffeting and stalling. In addition, the shear forces on the aircraft structure also need to be considered. When the center of gravity and the center of pressure are not aligned, the aircraft experiences significant shear forces. Additionally, the irregular shape of the aircraft structure, with mostly non-circular cross-sections, presents challenges in designing pressurized load-bearing structures and reducing weight. This requires high mechanical properties from the materials used, making aircraft manufacturing processes a challenge. In summary, due to the changes in aerodynamic structure, the requirements for materials, controls, and other aspects of the aircraft have significantly increased, making the development process quite challenging. However, if we ask whether the United States Air Force can accomplish this, the answer is yes. U.S. companies have been researching blended wing-body aircraft for a long time. For example, Boeing's X-48B and a stealth transport aircraft resembling the X-48C were showcased at the AIAA SciTech Forum. Lockheed Martin's HWB and AMCX Ajax Concepts, and Northrop Grumman's XBW-1, all indicate ongoing research in this area. Boeing collaborated with NASA in the early 21st century to develop the X-48B prototype with a blended wing layout. It made its maiden flight in 2007, and the aircraft appeared to be almost all wings with poor longitudinal stability. To address this, Boeing made adjustments for the X-48C, which made its first flight in 2012 and had a longer fuselage and added V-tail surfaces to enhance both longitudinal and directional stability. Airbus Maverick prototype has a similar layout. This layout is likely a compromise between technological advancement and engineering feasibility. It is worth mentioning that the stealthification of transport aircraft is not exclusive to the United States. Russia also has similar projects. To replace the IL-76 and an 124, Russia proposed the Pacta Stealth Transport Aircraft Project, which is of equal importance to the Pacta Stealth Bomber. Looking at current stealth transport aircraft designs, they can be broadly classified into two categories. The first category includes Russia's Pacta, Boeing's X-48C, Lockheed Martin's HWB, and Airbus Maverick. The primary objective of these designs is fuel efficiency, with stealth capabilities being secondary. The principle behind them is to reduce aerodynamic drag, as the blended wing configuration offers a higher lift-to-drag ratio. With the same engine thrust, it can carry more payload, more fuel for longer flights, or, with the same weight, achieve lower fuel consumption and lower fuel costs. Additionally, these designs have lower engine requirements. The B-2 Spirit, for example, uses only four F-118 engines. Under the premise of using the same engines and having the same takeoff weight, transport aircraft like the C-17 and C-5 have an economic cruise speed of 0.7 Mach. However, the HWB's cruise speed can reach 0.81 Mach, reducing the drag by 45% during supersonic flight. Compared to the C-17, the X-48C can reduce fuel consumption by 70% to 80%, while Lockheed Martin is even more ambitious, aiming to reduce future transport aircraft fuel consumption by 90%. The second category focuses on stealth capabilities. Boeing's recent unveiling of a stealth transport aircraft, Lockheed Martin's AMCX Ajax concept, and Jet Zero's XBW-1 all prioritize stealth effects, with some designs rivaling stealth bombers. Regardless of the category, the aerodynamic layout design and flight control system pose significant challenges. However, with years of research by US companies and the success of the B-2 as a case study, the difficulty is somewhat manageable. 
The most challenging situation is for Russia, as they are essentially starting from scratch. This brings up another question. What role can a stealth transport aircraft like the XBW-1 play for the U.S. Air Force? In the United States' vision, the next-generation transport and tanker aircraft have departed from the traditional route of retrofitting large civilian airliners and are predominantly stealthy. The blended wing body configuration is the preferred option, aimed at enhancing the combat capabilities of transport aircraft while increasing their protection. In modern air warfare systems, although auxiliary aircraft such as transport and tanker planes may not attract much attention, their role is no less significant than that of fighter aircraft. Taking down an enemy tanker aircraft could potentially disable several enemy fighter jets due to fuel depletion, forcing them to crash or withdraw from combat prematurely. The spacious interior of the BWB aircraft allows for the installation of various electronic warfare platforms, which can be used for maritime patrols or long-range air-to-ground surveillance. The aircraft can accommodate various sensors and observation windows, making it suitable for serving as an airborne command center with an ample number of communication and control consoles. The generous space also enables better electromagnetic isolation. Of course, the most important role is the extended range and stealth capabilities. The U.S. Air Force currently possesses a strong fleet of transport aircraft, with around 660 of various types, including 52 C-5 series, 222 C-17 III models, and over 300 C-130 series. Theoretically, they could airlift a heavy armored division across the Atlantic to the European theater within 24 hours. With this capability, they overshadow the rest of the world. Even if the Soviet Union had not dissolved, the United States would still have a significant advantage. However, there is a premise here, based on the actual situation, if transport aircraft are targeted as soon as they enter the theater of operations, their effectiveness would be compromised. Current air defense systems can shoot down fighter jets, let alone less maneuverable and slower transport aircraft. Without air superiority, transport aircraft, with their limited defensive capabilities, become vulnerable targets for air defense systems and are prone to being shot down. The early stages of the Russo-Ukrainian War provide a good reference, where Russian airborne troops suffered significant losses during the surprise attack on Kiev. Moreover, current tanker and transport aircraft lack stealth capabilities, so getting too close to other fighter aircraft would expose the positions of F-22 and F-35 fighters. In the absence of improved maneuverability and speed, stealth capabilities become a necessary option. However, Stealth for transport aircraft differs from that of fighter jets. Reducing the size of the aircraft body and minimizing radar cross-section would affect the payload capacity, and improving maneuverability to evade incoming missiles is not feasible. The only option is to change the aerodynamic layout to reduce radar detection distance. The implementation methods are not overly difficult. For example, the use of radar-absorbing materials or advanced aerodynamic design Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules, produced by earlier modifications, utilizes reduced radar reflectivity and advanced electronic countermeasures. However, such designs have limited improvements in stealth performance. The BWB configuration is the key. In addition, aircraft like the XBW-1 can be considered stealth bombers with a large payload capacity. There is also a more specialized term, transport bomber integration. In terms of role, the boundary between transport and bomber aircraft is blurred. One is for delivering supplies and personnel, providing whatever the troops require, while the other is solely for dropping bombs. Essentially, there is no fundamental difference. After the introduction of the Rapid Dragon system, transport aircraft can also drop bombs. The Rapid Dragon system was proposed by the United States in 2019 and took shape in less than two years. The platforms and missiles were readily available, and the only requirement was a tray system compatible with the cargo hold of the transport aircraft and the missile delivery environment. To be honest, it's not difficult. Ground personnel can use satellite communication data links to transmit target data to the Rapid Dragon system. 
Moreover, modern missiles are fire and forget, capable of autonomous operations without carrier control. As for the refresh rate of satellite communication data links, it's not a concern. If air-to-air -air missiles can be guided, let alone cruise missiles, smaller bombs, and relatively slower targets. With the introduction of the Rapid Dragon system, transforming transport aircraft into bombers is now effortless. There's no need for extensive modifications, you simply need to place a few trays in the cargo hold and deploy them when needed. The long-range strike capabilities are on par with traditional bombers, and the versatility is outstanding. Different types of transport aircraft can carry varying amounts of weapons based on their individual requirements. For example, the C-17A transport aircraft can utilize a loading configuration with a single tray accommodating nine missiles. When equipped with AGM-158B missiles, the maximum payload capacity is 36 missiles. On the other hand, the C-130 series can use a loading configuration with a single tray accommodating six missiles, allowing for a maximum payload of 10 AGM-158B missiles. The integration of transport and bomber capabilities is not just a theoretical concept. In summary, the stealthification of auxiliary aircraft such as transport and bomber planes bring significant advantages. It ensures their own safety while also allowing them to transform into stealth bombers, carrying out bombing missions alongside aircraft like the B-21. From a strategic perspective, future long-range strikes are likely to be conducted in a fully stealthy manner. Operational secrecy and penetration capabilities will be enhanced. Even refueling will take place in enemy territory. Is there anything more audacious than that? Alright, that concludes this video. What do you think the XBW-1 stealth transport aircraft could be further transformed into? Feel free to leave your comments below the video, and let's discuss together.